Epcot Festival without gluttony. I don't think that's possible. Is that possible? I will not be shoving my face full of food. Instead, we're gonna concentrate on the festival portion, uh, not the food kitchens, the topiaries, the flowers, the gardens, the merch, the overall experience. So let's go escape into Disney World, Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. The topiaries for the entrance are just absolutely amazing this year. It's Encanto. So good. Very important thing to do is get yourself a festival passport right here. This will be your guide to this festival. Everybody is loving these topiaries. It's like chaos personified up here. Very, very, very popular with everybody. They're, they look so good. It is 8.53. We are rope dropping this baby. The joys of rope dropping Epcot. Yeah. Let's do a quick merch check before this place gets crazy. Look at... I debated so bad on whether to get one of these or not. Um, really, really love them. They have plenty of them. I love that the theme is Orange Bird this year. And I bought these ears last night. Figment Focus merch as well. I really like this lounge line. Totally 
tons and tons of pins. Where's my favorite pin? It's probably in the top thing. Yes, that's my favorite. Isn't that cute? I like the color on this, this lime green. Really, really pretty. They have magic bands, magnets. You can even get Crocs. And the characters that are focused this year are Figment, Orange Bird, and Snow White. Some of the Snow White merch. This is so pretty. I, I, I don't do well in these colors because I'm a mess. Yeah, that would not be that color for very long. Bye, merch. Bye, merch. I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back for you. Mickey and Minnie themselves. The topiaries are on point. What was that? <laughs> Let's be a little more dignified. The topiaries are amazing this year. So pretty. Really like that. The detail on these. How do they do this? It's really amazing, right? Oh, little Chippendale. Love it. We are going to come back later and look at this. I, that's my favorite ascent right there, the floral one right there. We're going to come back and check that out later. I am rushing uh, my little heart out to get to Frozen because the last two times I've been here, I haven't been able to ride Frozen. So that's, you know, rope dropping. You want to get some rides in first, and then we'll do all the festival things. He is tall. Man, I wish it, like, compared to me, I'm like a little person. He is super, super tall. Super tall. Just amazing how they can do that. He's, he's giving you flowers, y'all. He's presenting you with flowers because you're so beautiful. The wait is already pretty significant for Frozen, but we're going to wait it. We're going to wait it. Haven't done it in a while. Really want to see this ride. Frozen Topier is really cool. It's really good. Let it go. Let it go. Everyone's going to Elsa's Ice Palace today. Should be a real hoot and a half. Come on, I know you do. Elsa's made a magic winter show. It's summer snow for Sven and you. pushing my buns out in the wind to dry them out because I got soaked y'all. The buns got soaked. Hopefully there's not a lot of TMI stuff on this video today. You know. It's about 10.15. The food booths don't open until about 11. I was going to go into the Odyssey Pavilion but they're not open yet. Um, we're just a little bit early so let's go Look at some of the flowers. I mean, look. Look at that. So beautiful. One of my favorite things is this Blossoms of Favorite thing where you have flowers and then they puff scents at you. This one's my favorite floral soft flamira. If I could take that scent home and bathe in it, I would. I, I would. They got rose, 
I got citrusy, but I, I, tr I came here last night and tried all these, and my favorite was that one back there. Rose, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna inhale rose today. Not inhaling today. So pretty. Look back here, y'all. Like, yeah, look at all these flowers, and then, holy cow! Look how beautiful this is, y'all. They just do such an amazing job. Like my ex is a landscaper and I don't think people realize how much work it takes to do this job. Very talented, hard work. I mean, it, it's, it's really beautiful, right? I, w I wish I could pump the smell in through the camera for you guys. It's, wow, you guys are aggressive. Awful aggressive for a Friday. Dis your Disney ducks. Like what you got to be aggressive about. But look, there's a family with babies. A ducky, little ducky, a little ducky Disney family living their best life. Yeah. Smells so good. The smell of life and, and beauty. Life and beauty. Oh, and there's butterflies too. Oh, we are going to go over and across the way over the river and through the woods there is a butterfly exhibit we're gonna go check that out too got pineapple mango as well sun-kissed citrus you think because i'm a tangerine that this will be my favorite but it's not it's definitely the one over there maybe i don't like sniff i don't like sniffing myself ah wow it's gonna be that kind of a day amy good to know good to know and then mint fields I'm trying to cover up what just happened, what was just said. That's all. Uh, this reminds me of my stepdaughter. Uh, love you so much. I thought this was cool, like the, the ears that they had before. They got it designed exactly like that. Very pretty. Love it. I'm really just killing time until a food booth opens. Um, because I can tolerate having avocado toast, which is a food booth over here by Test Track. I don't know about anything else. I came here last night and I got the avocado toast and it, it set okay with my stomach. So I'm going to go with that again. After that, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's getting pictures with Mickey and Minnie. The topiaries are so popular at this festival. It's, it's what makes it like a fan favorite. All right, let's look at the merch. Let's go back on the merch. That's exactly what I look like, right? If I bought this, I would look like that, right? Right? I love that Disney does this. I we need more of this in our life. More unique human beings. Um, lots of orange. I was really worried because I wasn't able to go to opening day. Um, that they wouldn't have these and they still they have a ton of them y'all they're everywhere they're so beautiful I don't know what this is uh, but orange bird hanging off of it is pretty cute I guess it's a planter I don't know clearly I don't have a green thumb I just have a merch thumb I love this cork suppose isn't that pretty I love the the cream color uh, uh, very high quality as well it's $45 for that I would love to get that very pretty let's have more you know more pins in case you didn't need didn't get enough and then they have the specific magic band what I like is orange bird has glasses on that is the best. I would buy it literally just for that. Just for that part. They're supposed to have an orange burn scented, but they don't have it out yet. So hopefully soon. You know I'm getting that. You know I'm getting that. I actually have tables out here, which is really cool. I haven't seen that in a while. So it's nice to be able to, you know, if you're exhausted, to have some place to sit. This is where the avocado toast is. It's, like it's on a test track. And it's 1030 and they're letting people line up already. And avocado toast is something that I can tolerate. We are getting in this line. Secure the avocado house. Look at the line on this. This is a very, very, very popular booth. It went really fast. And the cast members, I swear, are some of the best. This dude up here 
freaking hilarious. Really amazing. Highly recommend that boo. Okay, look how good this is, you all. I had this last night, and thank God I can tolerate it. So this will be one of not many things that I will be eating today. So, yay! Can you see the smoke coming off of this booth over here? Literally, they're cooking the steak right there. Oh my God, the smell that is coming off there. I might try to eat the steak. I don't know. That It's so hard to be here and not be able to just be a glutton. Um, yeah. Oh my God, y'all, this is, it's so good. I mean, look at that. It is so freaking good. Ugh. Okay, we have gotten the ribeye. Yeah, look at they're cooking it like right there. How can you resist that? Um, yeah. The good thing about this is the portion is really small, so I'm hoping that I can tolerate it. This might be it for me today. We'll see how this goes. Look at that meat. Look at how how tender that is. Wow. That was really good, but I think we're done. kind of navigating a new normal and the new normal does not include things like that <sighs> onwards this is really cool outside of the kids playground it's a boat with flowers in it, and then you have Spike the Bee. Spike the Bee. Surprising no Spike the Bee merch, but this is really cool. I like that orange. An orange bicycle. Hey, Sam, my daughter. It's an orange bicycle. You need that. You need that. I have this Songbird Meadow, and it's for songbirds. I'm seeing a ton of butterflies out here. We are going to head over to the butterfly exhibit as well. But what I love about this festival is the nature portion of it. I, I'm an outdoor baby. Love this kind of stuff. Butterflies. It's, I can hear birds, but I don't know if that's Disney birds. You know what I'm saying? Like piped in birds. Don't know. Don't feed the birds. Don't feed the birds. Disney. It's in a movie. Don't feed the birds. Look at how beautiful this is. Whoa, we're in a hurricane. It just blew my ears right off. It just blew my orange bird ears right off my head. Alrighty then. This is so pretty. You can smell the water and the flowers. I just, but like it's healing water and flowers it's very soothing to your soul to your soul this is probably one of the most popular topiaries they look so good i want to see the baby show me the baby figment nice to see you i like your belly it's purple uh purple belly I don't know, you might want to get that checked. You might, I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's a problem, but it's a problem. Okay, it is really cool in here. I do like it. I don't know. I have a thing for figment all of a sudden. It's, I can't explain it. Somebody please explain it to me. We're doing it. We're doing it all aboard. No turning back now. Discovers the figment of imagination. Yeah, and I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste like chicken. Woohoo! You win one second. for it are you ready for it if I have to suffer Wonderful you have to suffer I do oh, 
because we're friends. Friends suffer things together. Just saying. And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. One of the best things about Flower and Garden is the butterfly landing where you can go and see butterflies, y'all. Hi! They have this here so the butterflies don't get out. They, they, don't, they don't escape. Let's park the waters. I mean, they're just like coming right at us. Hi! That's amazing. They're everywhere. It's so beautiful in here. Butterfly life cycle. Egg, larva, chrysalis, and adults. You know, I'm just chilling. Chilling like villains. Everywhere you go, beautiful flowers. That butterfly exhibit is great. It reminds me of, I don't know if y'all if y'all are familiar with the North and Meyer, but up in up in the north they have stores called Meyer, which is like my favorite thing ever. And Meyer has butterfly gardens. It has the Meyer Frederick Gardens. And I highly recommend if you are ever in Michigan to check that out. It's amazing. Sheriff Woody, how are you? How you doing? How is your lovely girl here, Mrs. Bo Peep? When are you gonna make her Mrs. Woody? What you stalling out for? You know, women like this just do not come along all the time. Like, get with it. I'm gonna check back. Put a ring on it. All right, y'all, I might not be able to eat but there's so much to do at Epcot and these festivals besides just food. And one of them is this baby right here. We're going on Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's roll. Thank you. Best moment of the day. Guardians of the Galaxy. of the galaxy it makes everything in life better every single thing ah, I, I, I love you guardians of the galaxy I love you in the Odyssey pavilion you can get the orange bird sipper it comes with a smoothie and then what's cool is you got the orange bird and he's holding the original orange bird sipper so you get kind of like a double. And then you get the smoothie to go with it. And you can find that in the Odyssey and we're gonna go check that out next. they are calling it the Citrus Blossom. You can mobile order. You can mobile order your sipper as well and then you don't have to wait in line. And it's at the Citrus Blossom. 
look really cute. Oh, so cute. Very busy in here. Holy cow. Got a lot of the festival merch in here as well. Is my place because it's got all. Because I'm a tangerine, right? Is this my festival? Like, this might very well be my festival. Not Big Mitts and not Orange Birds. It's the Tangerines Festival. Greetings from Amy Tangerines Festival. Sorry, Orange Bird. It is yours. We have these beautiful flowers just everywhere. I'm gonna go against my nature, y'all, and do something very drastic today. We're gonna go to the right to Canada first because there's a spot in Canada where I wanna chillax. It's my happy place. Instead of going to Mexico the correct way, we're gonna go to Canada. Yeah, I know, I can't believe it either. It's happening. The world is upside down. I love these topiaries that you can get. You can get a Mickey and an elephant and a heart and a bunny. So cute. Turtle. Look! Thumper and then Bambi. Oh, they do such a good job on these. They do such an amazing job. They even have geese topiaries. Now I've seen it all. Canadian geese topiaries. We're going all out at the 2023 Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. I want to live. I want to live in that cottage. Can I live in that cottage? Who do I got to speak to? I never even noticed I was back there. That, I, that's my cottage. Oh my gosh, I want to live there. I didn't even know that was back there. Did y'all know that was back there? I, um, Disney's sneaky with the details. Like you don't even notice stuff is there until one day you notice that your cottage is sitting right there where you live. So if y'all ever want to come visit me, that's where I live. Just, just so you know. That's my house. I mean, I have a mortgage, but you know, it will be mine when I pay it off. Are you ready for the tremendous, the spectacular backside of water? I, you weren't ready. Ooh, I'm getting wet. Situation. Come back here when you're hot. Whew. Lord, that feels good. This is my spot. This is where I go to decompress when I've had a little bit too much Disney. It's back here in the Canadian Pavilion. This little corner is my world. All right, I'm chillaxing in my happy place at Canada. Um, I wanted to talk about the no gluttony situation. Um, and it's not by choice, uh, well, clearly. Um, I debated whether to say anything, but I want to be authentic, and I feel like I've been doing a little bit toxic positivity, um, like pretending like everything's okay when it's not, when I have not felt well for quite a while. Um, it started uh, last April, I first started noticing symptoms. And then by October, I knew I had a serious problem, but we didn't know what it was. And they finally sat me down the day before Flower and Garden and said that my stomach has stopped functioning. And I was like, do stomachs do that? Like, is that a thing? And apparently, it's a thing. So, the nerves in your stomach get damaged somehow, and a lot of the times it happens um, with people that have diabetes. Um, I do not have diabetes, so they're calling it idiopathic, where that means they don't know why it happened. My stomach just will not work. Like, I eat stuff and it just sits there. It's supposed to like, I don't even know what it's supposed to do, but it's not doing it. I'll call it. It's like deuces, I'm out, I'm retiring, you're kinda on your own, Amy. 
so um, I kind of get to a point where the way I'm handling it is I'm not eating and I know that's not healthy and that's not doable in the long term um, but it hurts to eat because it just sits there so I have to educate myself about this and find out the best way to handle it my doctor recommended a whole bunch of books that I have to read and they are starting me on some some medication that's supposed to help the stomach um, but also very important in this whole thing is for me to not eat foods that are hard for my stomach to and make my stomach work like I have to baby the darn thing it's already not working and I have to baby it so a lot of food is off the table for me which is fine it's not fine but I, I told the doctors, like, whatever diagnosis it is, like, I have just want a diagnosis. Like, there's something seriously wrong. So, you know, knowing what's wrong is, like, half the battle. But literally the day before Flower and Garden, your stomach's not functioning. Um, I have anemia. I'm not absorbing uh, any vitamins at all. So totally have to figure out how to do Disney without food, without Disney food, um, you know, eating very small portions and, and easy stuff. I'm at the baby, my stomach, um, and hopefully the medicine that they put me on helps as well. Um, but like at, at home, I just don't eat. I've just stopped eating because it hurts like the devil, y'all. I can't even describe what it feels like to eat and have it sit there and especially like when I'm at Disney I'm fine if I'm running around but if I like eat and get on a ride Lord have mercy it's so bad so I'm hoping over time I'll learn how to handle it and my doctor is hopeful that maybe my stomach will start working again so no gluttony from this tangerine and it's really kind of crazy because I have all these plans for all these dinner places to eat, all these restaurants to review and I can't do any of that y'all. I can't do any of that. All that has got to stop. Um, so hopefully you'll still watch without a huge part of it, without the food part of it. Sorry. Hoping to show that you can still have a good time at Disney without the food part. Like anything in life, there's so much good. If something's wrong in your life, there's so much other good things that you can focus on. Like for me, my writing, reading, Disney, food is a small portion of it stomach not working is a small portion of my life I'm still going to go out there and thrive I just gotta learn how um, today is really hard because you know I, I'm, I, I have really bad anemia so I'm resting I'm sitting in Canada I'm resting um, I'm just not gonna push myself anymore hopefully you guys will still watch um, if anything, just watch how someone navigates something really horrible and still goes on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Thank you, songs. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Google, Amazon, everywhere. All these streaming services. So, the uh, next one we're gonna do uh, it's not because we wanna do it, it's because we have to. Uh, yeah, so basically, 
Super quick, we're here on a special program. It's from a non-profit called Waltzes Without Borders. So uh, we have to play waltzes uh, every single day. And that, that's the reason we're here. It's a cultural thing. Uh, but um, just know that uh, we have a, like a point system. So if a couple dances, it's 50 points. If someone by himself or herself dance, it's 35 points. And if two of those boys dance together, it's a hundred points because Woo! it doesn't happen. <laughs> like, points. Sometimes, but like. and anyway, Ricky over there will like he's keeping tabs, so he'll tell us we need five thousand points per week if we're to come back. So please dance because we want to come back. Especially like saying that this song is about Canadian with Canadian winter, which is the reason we want to come back. <laughs> Here's a song called Vachelou. That was awesome, like that lady in the wheelchair got up and danced, I mean like is that not a metaphor for, you know, what this whole video is about or what? You gotta tell them that Peter scared the pants off him. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a good one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> These people are awesome. I <laughs> can't stop. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Croc. Oh my god. This is the best. Um. <laughs> this is why I come. It's my spirit animal. <laughs> and Piglet. How are you, Tigger? Tigger is like bouncing. Love it. I love your ride at Magic Kingdom. It gets a thumbs up from me. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, Tigger. It's pretty good. Look at Rabbit. He gets so stressed out. Rabbit. I just want to give you a hug. And then there's there's Pooh. Oh bother. He just wants honey. Hi, Pooh. I love this luminaire has actually, actually ticks and then this at night he's lit up. Lumiere is lit up at night. Isn't that cool? Such a cool detail. And of course, Beauty and the Beast. Isn't that pretty? Look at the detail on the beast. Wow. It's just amazing what they can do. So talented. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty happy. Look what you got. Look what you scored. You scored a 10. Good on you. She's a 10. She's a 10. It's about 6 o'clock. Just about ready to get dark. And I swear it's even prettier at night. All the flowers and all the locals have arrived. Very busy. So pretty. Living with the land always calms me down. Always. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. The flowers that they grow here are used in the food. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way I use a fraction this. of the space required by traditional I growing methods. This. That saves water and increases so production. Pretty. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics I don't know why, with aquaculture. I just love this part. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It got dark! Let's go check out Spaceship Earth.
<laughs> Resort TV one. It's the trifecta. It's the Monorail Resort TV one and the Spaceship Earth. It's kind of dark, but here are the dwarfs. The seven dwarfs. Then there is Snow White. Looks good. It looks even better, I think, in the daytime. That'll do it for today's video. Epcot Flower and Garden. Always a good time, no matter what. There were some really good things today. This festival runs through July 5th, so you still have time to get here and see it for yourself. On the next video, we are going to Tron. I can't wait, and I hope that you return for that. And until we meet again, my friends, bye. And it's been fun. Let's do it again. There goes the monorail. Bye. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. <laughs> innovation and the magic of human connection. From its opening day, the goal of Epcot has been to entertain, inform, and inspire. But above all, to celebrate a world in which we celebrate each other. Until we see you again, have a safe trip home. Good night. <laughs>